And welcome back to the second segment of our show where we have been joined by the General Manager for Corporate Customer Relations Services, none other than Chandra Cancino, and Communications Officer at the Social Security Board, Janice Ely. The strength of our conversation this morning, Marlene, is going to be on the scholarship applications being offered uh, through the SSB. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So uh, let's start off by finding out a bit of the history of the scholarship program that has been ongoing through the Social Security Board. Um, okay. Well, first of all, thank you all for having us yeah. on the show this morning. Um, this year, Social Security has launched its um, new five-year strategic plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of that plan is to, number one, engage more with our stakeholders and the public, and hence the reason why we are here today. Um, and as well as to promote and um, encourage more social, uh, our social responsibility with the Belizean public. Uh, in that sense, we've added some, some scholarships to the program that we have had ongoing. Mm -hmm. um, and perhaps maybe Ms. Janice can, can give us a little bit more information on that. Okay. Our scholarship program commenced in 2001. Um, it's been around for a while. Currently in our program, we have 146 recipients. This year, we're offering 52 scholarships. We're offering 30 high school scholarships, 16 sixth form, four vo vocational technical scholarships, and two bachelor level scholarship. We are bringing back the bachelor level uh, scholarship. <clears throat> our application process opened on the 3rd of April. This year is a little unique as it's we are completely moving to an automated application process. Nice. So we will no longer be accepting hard copy application hard copies applications. Uh, the completely the process is completely online from beginning to end. On our social security website we have created um, what is known as a scholarship portal. Mm -hmm. uh, you create an account uh, to access the portal. It's just like creating any other account online and in this day and age everyone everything now is automated and you can check it out right <laughs> now you can see mm -hmm. to create it's even mobile you can create after creating the portal yeah you then uh, go ahead and fill out the application online submit the required documents yeah through the portal it's mobile friendly it's we're encouraging everyone to uh, become a little more familiar with it. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. We have tried to make it as simple as possible. But I was going to ask that because sometimes we underestimate <laughs> how challenging it can be yeah. to do online applications sometimes. Yes. Um, do you have like a customer service line or a hotline for people to get help if necessary? What we have done, we have trained everyone, um, our frontline staff at all branches countrywide, okay. so they are familiar with it. Our, we do have our customer service number on there for anyone to have, who have questions. We even um, have our Facebook page, yeah. our info at social, so you can contact us with any questions, query. We have already started to receive some queries yeah. um, in regards to the portal and how um, the whole entire process works. We will continuously um, be putting it out there, sharing information via our Facebook or YouTube page mm -hmm. on how to open your account, how to use the scholarship portal. Now this will be the met method used for all of the applications? All of the yeah. scholarship applications, mm -hmm. okay. yes. And in, in, in a follow-up to, to this, well, uh, as you know, most organizations are moving towards the um, mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. services, et cetera. Um, and likewise, we're doing the same at, at Social Security, where in the future, we, we are even moving towards paying all our benefits mm -hmm. um, to a direct deposit okay. account. Um, so we encourage customers to um, to sign up for direct deposit uh, services, so you don't have to go to the office to receive your your check. It goes directly into your bank account. Um, we also have the online contribution portal, mm -hmm. where employers can pay their their um, social security contributions online. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are some of the the changes that that are taking place along with the. Um, enhancement of the scholarship program. A lot is happening at Social Security and so we felt the need to come and, and share all of this information and start to get the information out there. So our stakeholders are prepared because it, 
in order for you to access online services, you have to be a part of the online world, and yeah. not everybody mm -hmm. is there yet. Some Let's people go back are still a bit. being hesitant. Let's yeah. go back a bit to the scholarship program. Yeah. What have been some of the successes coming out of this initiative over the life of the program thus far? Some of the successes, <coughs> the scholarship is geared for both academic potential and financial needs. These, uh, that's how it's awarded. We focus on looking at both aspects of those things to, in, to de develop education overall in the country. So we have seen, um, we have graduated of a, a little over 700 graduates throughout the program at different levels since its inception. Um, and we try going online, it's not just simply to make the process a little easier, it's also to create a constant communication. Mm -hmm. We want to be able not just to say, here's the payment, um, we'll see you at the end of the year when it's time to pay again. We want to be able to create that communication with those who are receiving the assistance and in contributing to the complete enhancement and development of their educational journey and their journey onward. Mm -hmm. So we, it's a, it's a step-by-step -step process and in going so we're trying to contribute overall to the development of education in Belize and the individuals in society. Now we know that this, this particular time of year a lot of students are hunting for scholarships uh, for, for everything that is offered here for junior college, for high school, parents are looking for high school students and of course for tertiary level or bachelor degree. Um, how competitive is it? I mean, what are the type of numbers of applicants do you see, and how rigorous is the process of selection? It's, man, it's, a, it's very tough. Yeah. We last year received a little over 260 applications, yeah. and we distributed 50, 50 scholarships last year. So um, the process, mm -hmm. we tried to make it as crystal clear, as transparent as possible, okay. so that we have our guidelines as what we're looking for, and that it doesn't become bias or it doesn't become a diffi too difficult. It's already a difficult in saying no to so many mm -hmm. applicants <laughs> that <laughs> it's, you wish you could give it to, because everyone deserves, a, you know, everyone yeah. comes with their own story, with their own struggles, and yeah. it's, which the main bottom line is that we try to make it as clear as possible for those who will be evaluating the application. Okay. So let's talk about what they need to submit as well. Um, and uh, we'll talk a bit about how they can get an edge as well. But <laughs> let's, let's talk about required documents. So you want an acceptance letter from whatever school they're going to go to. Right. What mm -hmm. else do they need? So before we get to the required documents, yes. um, one thing that all applicants should know um, to qualify for the scholarship, yeah. you must be a Belizean. You okay. must be attending an institution in Belize. <clears throat> you must exhibit financial need and um, academic potential. So those okay. are the four main categories in order to qualify for the scholarship. Yes. Um, the required documents, all four of the scholarships um, are similar besides a few, um, the transcript of course, for depending on the level that yes. you're at. But we ask for a valid social security, a copy of your valid social security card, acceptance letter. Mm -hmm. We also ask for proof of income because we ask that your parents' combined income is less than $25,000 per year. Mm -hmm. So um, we have had a little issue in the past where we have asked for a TD4, but different um, employment in Belize the TD4 might not be applicable. Yeah. So we have expanded it out to an employ a letter from your employer or if you are self-employed, a statement of your income okay. so that we can be able to judge accurately mm -hmm. of what, if you meet that $25,000. And that's for all the scholarship applications? Yes. What happens if somebody is already on their own and want to apply for the bachelor, bachelor degree school. program? We, if they're on their own we, um, and they're working, we yeah. also ask for them to submit their income statement okay. as well. Okay. This is our first, no, we've had bachelor program before, yeah. right? and, but we've now renewed it yes. again this yeah. year. So, so if, if, you, if you're not under the care of your parents, you want to attempt to get a, de uh, 
scholarship for your bachelor's, you can submit your own income. Is yes, even have yeah. that for high school um, yeah. applicants, where yeah. you have adults that are already in the working world and want to go back to high yeah. school yeah. Um, that are interested. And so we work, try to work with those exceptional Excellent. cases and, and facilitate that as well. You mentioned earlier that there is currently a lot taking place over at SSB. And this is just one of those initiatives. What else can the public look forward to from the Social Security Board this year? Um, well, I, I guess I kind of jumped the gun earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so didn't want to, I wanted to make sure we didn't miss um, yeah. those, those um, the, the different changes that are, that are coming. Yeah. Um, well, some of them have started. Last year, was the, we initiated the online, as I mentioned, contribution portal. And we encourage employers to use that facility. Yeah. We've had challenges as, we, as we've been going along that we've been working on and improving the, um, the service that, that we mm -hmm. provide. Um, the second one is the, the direct deposit, where um, your benefit would be deposited directly to your accounts. Mm -hmm. Now, um, that mm -hmm. is in the, in the near future will probably be mandatory um, mm -hmm. for you to apply for a benefit that, that your benefit is, is deposited directly to your account yeah. under the direct deposit um, system. So you will be hearing a lot more from us in, in that regard. Mm -hmm. And um, we also are offering, um, every month we have a direct deposit raffle, where we raffle $250. Um, your name is automatically included if you sign up for the direct deposit service when claiming your sickness or maternity benefit. So every month you can tune in on our Facebook page okay. um, for a chance to win $250 for signing up for our service. And that's another area, is the, <laughs> sorry, the, the social media and the, um, mm -hmm. the Facebook um, facility that we now have yeah. um, which we never had before mm -hmm. and believe you me it's very very active um, we get a lot of queries through our Facebook page and so we've had to um, increase the amount of attention and staff time that we give to that yeah. um, our response time is very good so far yeah. um, and so we're trying to play um, catch up yeah. in mm -hmm. a way um, in the social media world where we have been lagging behind um, but this, our new CEO, well, he's not really new again, about a mm. year, <laughs> has, has a different um, vision, uh, yeah. which is more in, in, in line with the, the social um, interaction that now takes yeah. place. Mm -hmm. um, that's a part of life. Well, people are used to the rapid response now uh, yes. of an online world. And in mm -hmm. fact, there are usually quite a few queries about social security and benefits and coverage. Mm -hmm. um, are those questions that people can pose online? Um, to be yes. able to get a, an accurate response? Yes, yeah. you, we answer as much as we possibly can. Yeah. Um, we're, we have to take into consideration the, the um, privacy and the confidentiality issues. Okay. So we need to make sure that if Marlene is asking a question about Marlene, that it is Marlene. So we limit what our response might be in relation to your personal information. Okay. We are able to direct you specifically to your, yeah. your office or a person in the office you can get your questions answered and then we liaise with them from behind the scenes to make sure okay. that you get the questions mm -hmm. answered because you know with social media you have a lot of fake profiles a lot of people trying to get information we're very aware of that mm -hmm. and so we try to to, um, mm -hmm. to balance both of them so active on social media as well going yes. back to the direct deposit you keep on saying signing up for it so do you have to go in or is there an online application if I have not uh, used the direct deposit system before? Well, it's, um, there's a, a, port, a section on the uh, form. sickness form or okay. the maternity form where you fill out um, your banking information. Mm -hmm. And all we ask is that you bring a copy of your either your bank book or some people has the card mm -hmm. um, when you come into the office. So when you're claiming your benefit, you can also be signing up for the direct deposit. It's okay. not an extra step that you have to make. You can no, do it right all at once. Form. Right on the form. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so we spoke of direct deposits that people would be able to do their contributions mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. um, anything else that will be happening? Well, since you <laughs> preempted the show with the right across <laughs> <laughs> I know. I knew it was going to come you up. Know, that's why. Bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we had completed our fundraising efforts last year. Um, and we, as usual, the board contributed a significant amount, dollar yeah. for dollar, to what we matched. Um, and so, um, I don't know if you recall, but we had um, partnered with the Ministry of Agriculture last year to do a gardening in schools yeah. program um, for three schools in the south side. Um, and so, we got enough funds. We handed over $25,000 to them. We'll do a, an official handing over on Thursday. Okay. Um, and we also handed over $10,000 to the Adopt a Child with Disability program, mm -hmm. where um, Mr. Juan Pablo Collado is trying to um, assist 
children with physical, physical. disabilities to um, get the therapy that they need. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a high demand. We wish we could give him more. Um, and so we have started with, we have, th those are what we are going to hand over officially until they've already received the funds yeah. um, so they can start their programs. And we'll be hearing from us before. This year is right across <laughs> Belize again. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> And looking at the um, application for the scholarships, what's the deadline? The deadline is Thursday, May 31st. Okay. So we have a little over, two, little less than two months. So okay. we encourage everyone to apply. Um, mm -hmm. It's a very easy process. And if you do have any questions, you can contact someone at the nearest branch. There is our contact information to contact us directly at headquarters. And we'd be more than happy to assist you through this process. And we'll be, if we haven't contacted the Ministry of Health, Mm -hmm. um, as yet, <laughs> sorry, education. the Ministry of Education. Uh -huh. yes. um, but we've contacted all the schools cool. already and okay. asked them because you know sometimes the access to internet might be a little bit challenging mm -hmm. yeah. in some yeah. of the more rural areas to please ensure that the students have the access that they need. Um, if they don't and they really pose with a challenge, then they can contact us and we will try to see how we can um, facilitate that okay. as well. Okay. It's a group effort. <laughs> and so, once again, you're looking for persons who show financial need. Yes. And, and academic ability, yes. um, and that is all a part of what you will be submitting in, in addition to your essay as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the theme for the essay? Uh, why I deserve this scholarship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there an age limit for the uh, tertiary level? No. Um, okay. All we ask is that you have completed a sixth form level. Okay. So um, the scholarship is for two years, 5000 per year. Mm -hmm. So um, it would be most appropriate if you have yeah. completed the first half. And the requirements for the VOTEC? The VOTEC, the similar requirements, excuse me, yeah. similar requirements as a scholarship, copy of your social security acceptance to a school, letter of recommendation, proof of income, yeah. and the essay yeah the but only thing is that the for the bachelor's level that we are asking um, students who are have an interest uh, be enrolled or be enrolled in a program that um, is in the ca in four categories known mm -hmm. as the stem science technology engineer mathematics okay so that's the for only the different for the bachelor's for the level bachelor. mm -hmm. yes. All right. we're trying to promote the you know, yeah. give that push to the science and technology area Absolutely. as opposed to the business. Okay. So uh, the application period is now open until May 31st. Yes. The application process is completely online. And this year, you now have the addition of two bachelor degree yes. uh, scholarships being mm -hmm. offered as well. That's right. Very sure you'll be inundated with uh, <laughs> applications. applications. Uh, and of course, if anybody needs help in how to be able to access the application process or to fill it out, you can contact them. And uh, you're very active on Facebook. You've made that TV commitment at this <laughs> yes, point. Yes, so. yes, yes, we are, we have. And um, you know, if we need to, to increase our, our time from staff to be yeah. able to answer the questions, we will, we will yeah. certainly do that as well. All right, ladies, anything else you'd like to share from the SSB? Well, just to say again, thank you, yes. uh, thank you all for having us. Um, the, our, under our new strategic plan, we are going to be more visible to the okay. public. Um, we're going to be engaging our stakeholders more. Um, you're just going to be hearing more from us, and we want to, be, we want to hear more from, from our stakeholders as well. So we're no longer camera shy. Um, <laughs> we're, we're out here. If you have any questions, again, like the Facebook yeah. page. It, it's really informative. It might not be one of the, the pages that, that you know you're gonna we're gonna see a bikini contest or <laughs> win any prizes, but it's very relevant information. Yeah. All the updates will are available there and we are our response time to your questions have been yeah. very good so far. Trust so me, when they need those sick benefits, they'll, <laughs> yes. they'll find you. And Quickly. also our website we try to keep yeah. it um, as updated as possible so information in regards to the scholarship is loaded. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming in, and we really hope that Belizeans take advantage of the scholarship opportunities that are available, 52 in total. Um, there's something for everyone. Uh, Votech, high school, sixth form, and now Gosh. bachelors. Yes. So we have to go ahead now and take our final break, and when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up, so stay tuned.